Okay, so what we're gonna do today is focus in on learned and learned behaviors and instincts. Okay. Um, who can give me who can give me the main difference between learned behaviors and instincts? Kimley? Yes, so on our foldable, okay, on our foldable, learned behaviors is at the top, instincts is at the bottom. So um, let's open the flap of learned behaviors. So open the flap, it has a seal on it. I think it's a seal, yeah, of learned behaviors. So now you kind of have a foldable that kind of looks like that, right? It's about a half circle over on the left flap and try and write small because what we're going to do today is just a lot of examples and decide which does that which category does that fit under is it a learned behavior or is it an instinct so over under learned behaviors what do we know about learned behaviors aiden okay so it's something that we have to be taught how to do whether it's by trial and error, meaning I touched a hot stove, even though my mom told me not to, I touched it and it's hot and now our brain is saying like, hey, don't do that again, that was bad. If you keep doing that, will that be harmful yes. to you? Yes, okay, that's, that's a learned behavior. Because sometimes when your parents tell you not to do things, do you do it anyway? Yeah. yeah, and then they're like, told you so. Okay, but that's a learned behavior is where you have to try it and fail at it, burn your hand before your brain says, hey, I probably shouldn't do that again because that is harmful. So learn behavior. You have to be taught. And then I'm going to put slash trial and error. You have to be taught slash trial and error. Sorry, that got really small up there. Can everybody see it in the back okay? Okay, and then if you just want to kind of box off wherever you had that, because the rest of that flap we're going to use for examples. We're going to come up, I have nine examples. We're going to see if we can fit them all somewhere on this foldable. Okay, then for the instincts flap, let me minimize this even more so I have room for the rest of the foldable for my instincts flap we can write we are born knowing slash with and you'll see why we put that. Either we're born with it or we're born knowing how to do it. And for example, like our thumbs. Were we born and thought, hey, it'd be really nice if my thumbs moved around? No, that was something we were just born with it. We weren't taught how to have move like thumbs like this. It's that we were born with that. It's an inherited trait. Okay, um, because of that, I believe on the front of the flap, learn behavior is there. Flip the instinct flap shut. Where it says instincts, I want you to put caught right AKA. What does AKA stand for? Also known, also known as, what's another name for those? You're just born with it. You get it from your parents. Genes? It is caused by genetics. It starts with an I. Inherited. Inherited traits, yep. So let's write that on the cover sometimes because sometimes they're called instincts, sometimes they're called inherited traits. Usually we think of instincts more as behaviors and uh, inherited traits more as like your opposable thumbs, your hair color, your eye color, all of those things, but they're all referring to the same things, things that we are born with. 
Okay, what we're gonna do, again, is open your flaps. I have nine examples. This is actually a worksheet that we are not gonna complete together. We're gonna do it in our notes. It has nine situations or nine scenarios, and we have to decide, is that an example of an instinct or of a learned behavior, okay? First one, a kindergartner rides his bike down the sidewalk. A kindergartner rides his bike down the sidewalk. Hutley, what do you think? Learn behavior, because did that kindergartner had to be, have to be taught how to do that? Yeah, so under learn behavior, we're just gonna put ride bike. We're gonna shorten this. Ride bike is an example of a learn behavior. The next one, Whitney's cat, Francine, has green eyes. Alaya? An instinct or an inherited trait. Yep, so I'm gonna put cat has green eyes. Okay, you can't teach your eyes to be a certain color. You can buy colored contacts now, okay? But your eyes don't change color. The cat has green eyes, it was born with green eyes. It can be a no-eyed cat, that's a, can't change colors. A fish uses its gills to survive in the ocean. A fish uses its gills to survive in the ocean. Braylon. An instinct, because when the fish cracks out of its egg, it doesn't say, Mom, can you teach me how to breathe through my gills? Right? Just like you don't say, Mom, can you teach me how to breathe through my lungs? You just breathe. So that is an instinct we will put. Um, Fish use gills to survive. If you run out of room on this side, you can go over to the other side. We have nine all together. So one will have four, one will have five. I don't know which one's which because I don't have an answer key. Okay, next one. Each zebra has his or her own striped pattern. Each zebra has his or her own striped pattern. Wyatt. Inherited trait. Inherited trait. They don't wake up and say, ooh, I want really ziggy zag lines, or I want really thick lines, or I want my lines to be a little more brown than black. What is their stripes comparable to on you? Fisher? Not your hair. Gabe? Freckles? Nope. Kinley? Your fingerprint. Your fingerprint, okay? All zebras are different. All your fingerprints are different. So let's put the stripes on a zebra. Stripes on a zebra. Those are instincts. They're not born thinking, ooh, what would I like my stripes to look like? A lion jumps through a flaming hoop at the circus. Get Braxton, what do you think? Learned behavior. Yeah, do you think that lion was born knowing how to jump through a fiery hula hoop? No, they have to be taught that by trial and error. So I'm going to put lion jump through hoop. Lion jump through hoop. Okay, they have to be taught that. Next one. Young prairie dogs observe adult prairie dogs and know to be watchful for predators. Lexi. Learn behavior. What gave that one away? Yeah, the young ones watch the older ones. So I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put this one over here. Young observe old to watch for predators. OK, 
Okay, the young have to observe the old to know how to survive, how to not get eaten. It's kind of like what you're doing with me. You're teaching us men. Yeah, I'm kind of like you're old. Is that what you're saying? I'm the old and you're the young. Is that, is that what you're getting at, Gabe? But yes, I am teaching you how to survive in the math world. You need me. That's what you were saying, right? Like I am helping you survive life. Okay, next one. A bear cub knows the best places for fishing and berry picking. A bear cub knows the best places for fishing and berry picking. I don't like this one. Lainey, what do you think? I don't know. I mean... I don't think, so. I think the adult would probably show them how to fish and show, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not a bear. I don't know if they're born knowing like, hey, the fish are close to the edge or out in the middle. We're not going to do that one. I don't like that one. The ones I'll give you are more obvious, obvious. That one's too vague. Next one, a spider spins a web in the doorway. A spider spins a web in the doorway. Emma. An instinct. They don't have to be taught that. They just know. They're born knowing. So spider spins web. We'll just leave it at that. Spider spins web. One more. Babies cry when in distress or when hungry. Kenley, what do you think? Babies cry when in distress or hungry. That's an instinct, okay? Unfortunately, they're born knowing how to cry. We have to teach them how to? Not cry. No, what do we teach them so they quit crying so much? Yeah, we have to teach them to use your words. They cry because they're frustrated and they can't communicate. So we teach them to communicate in a better way. So yes, that is an instinct. Babies cry. I'm just gonna put when hungry. What does in distress mean? Wyatt? Kind of in, like, in, in. Like uncomfortable, something, it could be frustration, it could be uncomfortable, it could be in pain. You're right, there's lots of different words that we could use there. Okay, I want you to each think of an instinct that's not up here on the board. Think of something that is an instinct that's not up here on the board. An instinct that is not up here. I'm gonna go around the room, try and call on everybody. You're either gonna give me an instinct or a learned behavior. We're gonna go through instincts first. Ready, Fisher. Okay. Wrap spiders are bored knowing how to wrap around a tree to be camouflaged. Is that the spider I showed you the other day? Okay. Emma? Okay, birds. Eh. Birds don't know. They, uh, trial and error. That's trial and error. So what would that one be? A learned behavior. So birds flying is a learned behavior, just like people walking. Carter, give me an instinct. Baby's breathing. Augie, give me an instinct. Um, baby's, blinking. baby's blinking. Aubrey, give me an instinct. Okay, you're opposable thumbs. We are born with opposable thumbs. That is an inherited trait. Yes, Aiden. So what's an instinct of a snake? What do they all do when they grow? What do they all do when they grow? They shed their skin. All snakes shed their skin. Braxton, give me an instinct. Something, something's born knowing how to do. Okay, not all. Give me specifics. Some things. Who can give me one more? We need one more instinct. One more, Gabe. 
Okay, butterflies flying. Okay, learn behaviors. Aliyah, give me one. A learn behavior. Something you have to be taught or something has to be taught. Okay, how to drive a car. Yep, Kinley. A baby talking. Braylon. A baby walking. Addie. Let's get off babies. There's other organisms. Give me another animal. Lion. What's something a lion has to learn how to do? Hunt. Hunt. Addie. A what? A bear. Okay, a bear probably has to be taught. Who do they probably learn from? Their parents. Yeah, their parents. Lainey. Okay, catching and throwing. Let's get off humans. Non-human learn behaviors. Augie. Birds flying. Emma already gave us that one. Wyatt. Birds like some birds like fly and then they like pick up their. Okay, um, that's hunting for them. Technically, birds hunting prey. Okay, so we have a pretty good understanding. Okay, in a minute you do have homework tonight, but you have about 20 minutes of science class left. On one side there are several um, scenarios. Okay, next to each one. You will put an L if it is a learned behavior. You will put an I if it is an instinct or inherited trait is actually what it says on here, okay? On the back side, it's very similar. It has two, four, six, eight different things. Some of them are words, some of them are pictures. Um, I will say the picture on the right is just the hooves of an elephant. Okay, it's just the hooves of an elephant and you have to decide if that's learned or inherited. Okay, so if it's the hooves, think about that. Okay, this other picture is an elephant on a ball. An elephant like walking on a ball, okay? Those are kind of the weird ones. Um, the rest of them are situations. And again, you're either just gonna put an L in the box or an I in the box. Make sure your eyes don't also look like L's or your L's don't also look like eyes. Okay? So L's and I's on the whole thing. So there's eight on back, two, four, six, eight on back, and ten on the front. So you have 18 scenarios, and you're deciding is it learned or is it inherited? Questions? Elise. Is this like learned or is it inherited? No. No. Nope. Because you, you would have to completely change the situation. Okay? When you are finished, you can just turn it into the tray.